of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, the Grove Laboratories brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcibly to old and young alike that crime does not pay. When you're suffering from acute nervousness, extreme fatigue, that run-down feeling and lowered resistance toward cold, see your doctor. He may decide that your ailments are caused by acute deficiency of vitamins in your diet. To relieve your distress, he may prescribe multiple vitamins in more than minimum daily doses. Possibly your doctor's just out of the Army, where he learned all about Grove Defender multiple vitamins, used by the Army by the millions of capsules. He knows that two Defender a day will help prevent the dietary vitamin deficiencies that drag you down. Then, be sure to supplement your diet with two Defender every day. More if your doctor advises. Defender multiple vitamins. Distributed by the Grove Laboratories, now available at your druggist. Now, the shadow. As in reality, Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, Murder with Music. Why are you just standing there staring at me? Why don't you say something? No! Don't come near me! You wouldn't hit me. You wouldn't hit me. Oh, my feet! Charming to see you again. Hello, hello, how are you? Lamont, you know Oliver Viceroy, the society columnist, don't you? Of course. Of course, everybody knows me, Miss Lane. Harriet's got a real find in Edward Milan, don't you think? Trying to make him a big star. Hmm. He's quite young, isn't he? Uh, the aesthetic type, you know. So Perry doesn't push him too hard. But you know Harriet Hamilton once she set her mind to a thing. Well, she certainly got some of the most influential people up here to hear his first recital. Oh, Harriet can do anything. Oh, um, oh, by the way... Have you seen Jennifer Gay around? No, I haven't seen Jen. Well, she's a friend of yours and uh, Mrs. Hamilton, isn't she? Uh, the truth is, Mr. Viceroy, I made Miss Lane promise to introduce me to Miss Jennifer Gay. I was anxious to meet the famous actress. No, I don't think you're likely to see her here tonight. But, Tessa, I must make the last. Mm, that old fluff. 
The day I see him without that silly blue cornflower boutonniere, I give him a big red apple. Now, right? Lamont, Lamont, stop it. That's a trademark. You know, best best man in town. Let's get out of here, Margaret. Oh, you played so divine. Spoiled again. Didn't he play divinely, Miss Lane, <laughs> Mr. Cranston? Yes, he did. This is my protege, Edward Miller. How do you do? How do you do, Mr. Miller? Do? We did enjoy your playing very much. Thank you, mm-hmm. Margaret. Really, Harriet, I'd like to be excused, if I may. Oh, just a few more introductions, Edward. Recitals upset Edward dreadfully. It's the first time he's played before so many well-known people. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Hamilton, is Jennifer Gay around? I'd like to meet her. I've enjoyed her play so much. Jennifer Gay? Uh, no, she's not around, Mr. Cranston. As a matter of fact, she wasn't invited. She won't be here tonight. Oh, what's that? Sounds like someone rapping on the French door. There is someone standing outside there. It's a girl. And there's something wrong with her. Look. Harriet, look. She's falling against the glass. Stand aside, everybody. Oh, my, she's bleeding terribly. Jennifer, Jennifer. Keep away from Mr. Lightfoot. No, let me help her. Jennifer, my darling. Harriet. It is Jennifer. Oh, don't look, Edward. Come on, we've got to do something to help her. Too late, Margot. She's dead. Oh, what? Been brutally beaten. I'm afraid this is murder. Now, quiet, please, everybody. Just stay right here in the living room. The police will be here in a minute. Oh, but this can't be murder, Mr. Cranston. Here in my home. I'm afraid it is, Mrs. Hamilton. People don't commit suicide that way. Jennifer, Jennifer murdered this way. Now, please try to control yourself, Mr. Lightfoot. But who could have killed her? Murdered her? It's so brutally Oh, it couldn't have been any of my guests, Mr. Cranston. We were all in this room when Jennifer was killed. You, Lane, had chairs right by the door. You'd have seen if anyone had... Yes, that's true. Hello, everybody. Sorry I'm late. Come on, that's God's bad by phone, isn't it? So I see. Body beautiful himself. Well, what's wrong, Harriet? I don't think it was a party. You all look as though you'd seen a ghost. Not a ghost, Mr. Bartholomew. A body. Huh? Jennifer Gay's dead body is under that robe. Oh, not Jennifer. You know her, Mr. Bartholomew? Well, certainly I know her. She's one of my best friends. I wouldn't exactly say friends, Mr. Bartholomew. Oh, you here too, Papa Viceroy? Where were you all evening, Mr. Bartholomew, if you were invited here? I was having a few drinks at the Penguin Club after dinner. I didn't realize it was so late. Oh, I see. Oh, Mr. Cranston, can't my guests leave now? We were all in this room at the time. Yes, please, Mr. Cranston. I'm afraid that will have to be for the police to say. They should be here any minute now. Uh, Mr. Bartholomew, would you step over here a minute? Well, yes, of course. It's been a terrible thing, hasn't it? Yes, it certainly has. Particularly since you were such a good friend of Jennifer Gay. Well, actually, I just met Jen since I came east. We were really only uh, acquaintances. I see. Now, I've admired those strong, silent roles you play in the movies, Mr. Bartholomew. They really give you some rugged parts to play. Well, uh, thanks, Cranston. Yes, I really have to keep in trim for pictures, of course. Uh, you say you were at the Tenzin Club all evening? Yes, I was. Say, are you trying to pump me, Cranston? I've heard you're mixed up in some kind of amateur criminology. Not at all. Well, don't, then. When the police get here, they can check my alibi. I was at the Penguin Club all evening. Mr. Jenkins, the owner, will verify that. He's a close friend of mine. I imagine he is. Well, thanks, Mr. Bartholomew. It was nice having the opportunity to get to know you better. No, Lamar, I'm amazed the police let everybody go. Well, they really have nothing to hold them on yet, Margot. Of course, they're all well-known names. Yeah, it's true. How did you make out with the Greek god, Brad Bartholomew? Hmm. You two seem to be having quite a chat. So far, Bartholomew seems to be the only suspect with the strength to commit that brutal murder, and also the motive. Motive? Jealousy, darling. According to the society columns, he and Jennifer were having a pretty hectic romance. Yes, but how could Brad have done it? He was supposed to be at the Penguin Club all evening. Yes, I know. When Brad left this evening, I happened to notice him pick up a pair of men's gloves from the hall table. Well, darling, they were probably his own. I'm sure they were. But I also noticed that those same gloves were on the hall table when we first came in. Oh, you think he was there before the recital? 
attacked Jennifer in the garden, say, and then made a grand entrance to establish his alibi. An alibi that might have been framed. Well, I know, darling, the police checked with the Penguin Club before we left. But by Bartholomew's own admission, he is a close friend of Mr. Jenkins, the owner of the club. I think the shadow had better pay a little call on Mr. Jenkins and double-check that airtight alibi. Okay, boys, close up. You can all go. I'm going over the book for a while. There's something else we must go over first, Mr. <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> Who's that? There's nobody in this office. The Shadow is here to pay you a call, Mr. Jenkins. Shadow? Who are you? What do you want? The truth. A man's life is at stake. A man's life? Brad Bartholomew. Why did you say he was here in your club with you all evening? Why did you instruct your help to tell the same lie if anyone questioned? Oh, Brad's a friend of mine. He asked me to say that. I didn't want to see him get in any trouble with that Jennifer Gay. Jennifer Gay? What? Trouble, Mr. Jenkins. Well, he's been trying to ditch her. He's got another girl. He was with that girl when he left here right after dinner tonight. If Bartholomew wasn't here at your club, where was he? Where did he go? I, I don't know. I swear. I wouldn't have lied about him being here if I'd thought I was going to get him in trouble. You're in plenty of trouble, Jenkins. If Brad Bartholomew is the murderer, you've made yourself an accomplice. And you'll pay for that stupid lie. <laughs> Really, Lamont, you're going to get into trouble sometime. Barging into Mr. Bartholomew's hotel suite at three in the morning. This fellow told you he wasn't in. Well, I wanted to make sure. Can't believe anybody when you're on the trail of a killer, Margaret. Mm -hmm. I believe Jenkins. I've never found out what I know now. Do you really think Bartholomew's the killer? Well, it looks now as if Brad Bartholomew deliberately faked an alibi so he could kill Jennifer. Now, it is odd, isn't it? Bartholomew's valet said he hadn't seen him since he went down to the hotel storage room to open up one of the trunks. Funny time of night for that sort of thing. Unless he was getting some clothes out for a quick getaway. Margo, we're going to slip down into the basement into that storage room. Well, darling, if he is down there, and he is the killer. Our lives won't be worth two cents. We'll have to take that chance, darling. Come on. That closet door's opening. There's something in there. What? That cargo, quick! It's coming out! It's alive! Come on, it's got me! Help! Help! Well, here it is, winter again. And for lots of you, that means the common cold, with all its usual miseries. Now, for 51 years, millions of cold sufferers have known just what to do. They've turned to Grove Cold Tablets for comforting relief. Fast. Maybe you didn't know that Grove Cold Tablets get right down inside and work internally to give relief from all these usual miseries of a cold at once. Relief number one, help reduce fever. Relief number two, ease your headache. Relief number three, alleviate body ache. Relief number four, Reduce nasal stuffiness. Release number five, lessen muscular pain. Grove cold tablets can do all this because they're a multiple medicine, compounded like a doctor's prescription. 
Yes, a combination of eight active medical ingredients specifically for your cold relief. Now remember to rest and avoid exposure. Get Grove cold tablets and take exactly as directed. Look for the name Grove. G-R-O-V-E. Grove cold tablets for relief of cold miseries. Now, back to the shadow. Lamont Cranston and Margot Lane, on the trail of a brutal killer, stumbled on something hidden in the closet of a hotel basement storage room. What was it, Lamont? What was it that grabbed me? Of course, Margot. Tell again, soon, he pushed that trunk away from the closet door. Dead body. Brad Bartholomew's body, Margo. What? Deep, neck broken, the head nearly yanked off. Oh, Lamont, I, I... Brad Bartholomew killed the same way Jennifer Gay was killed this afternoon by someone with the strength of a giant. Oh, it's horrible, Lamont. I want to get out of here. Wait. Mm-hmm. What? Something on his coat, Margo. Two tiny petals of blue corn flour. Oh, it's a bathroom. You must have seen Bartholomew's now. But how could Viceroy have killed Bartholomew this day? Viceroy is not a young man and certainly not the strong girl type. Maybe Viceroy didn't kill him. He could have hired some thug, brought him along to do his killing for him. Why? Revenge for Jennifer's death. Viceroy's always been in love with her. You mean you think Bartholomew killed Jennifer this evening and then Viceroy had him killed for revenge? What more perfect revenge could he have than to see Bartholomew die in the same brutal way he'd used to kill Jennifer? Let's go, Margo. You're going to Oliver Viceroy? Alone. Right now. As the shadow. Now let's see. The revolver lies beside me on my desk here in my room as I write this, my last column. The famous society matron will shed no tears over my suicide. Even now, she shed no tears over the murder of the beautiful actress. I mean, no one is guilty. But I know that a woman's jealousy and hate did kill Jennifer Gay. That is my betrayal. Now the gun. What? Who's that? The shadow has your gun now, Oliver Viceroy. <laughs> the, the shadow. Oh, where are you? What's happened here? Why did you kill Brad Bartholomew? Brad Bartholomew? He's been murdered too? Yes, Oliver Vice Roy Beaton. His neck broken like Jennifer Gabe. You hired someone to kill him. No, I didn't. I swear I didn't. And why were petals from your boutonnier found on the lapel of his coat? Petals? For my blue flower? It's a trick. Someone deliberately planted them there. You wanted Brad killed for revenge. You believed he killed Jennifer. No. I know that he didn't. Brad didn't kill Jennifer, but I know who did. Yes? Who? Harry Hamilton. He hated Jennifer because Jennifer was trying to steal Edward Milan, her protege, from her. You have proof? I have. This letter. Listen. Dear Oliver, you are the only person I know who has influence over Jennifer Gay. She's trying to take Edward from me. Keep her away. I'll kill her. If she dares interfere, find Harriet Hamilton. Why have you hidden this evidence? Why didn't you go to the police with it? Harriet helped me, too, to get stuck. But I feel no gratitude now for that woman. She planted my flower so the police would suspect me of that murder. You're naming her to save your own life. Why would I lie when I was about to kill myself? You saw Shadow. You saved me from suicide. But there's a reason for living now. To see her hand. I'll take that letter, Viceroy. The shadow has all the information he needs now. You can rest assured that the real murderer will be brought to justice. Get arrested. No one in the streets at this time of the morning. 
Well, Mrs. Harry Hamilton might try to get away. You must know that Bartholomew's disappearance can go undiscovered very long. But if, if she did kill Jennifer, why would she also kill Bartholomew? But she had to. If Brad was at her house before the recital, he probably witnessed the murder. I, I, I can't see how a woman like Harriet Hamilton could be a vicious, cruel killer. Well, we'll know that when we get there, Margot, if we're not too late. Yes, Harry. Sitting alone in this dark room, playing by the light of a candle. If someone heard you at this hour, they might think it's very odd. I'm too nervous to sleep, Harry. I've got nothing. You've got nothing to be nervous about, Edward. Nothing. So what happened here in this house this evening, Mrs. Taylor? So plain, Edward. Praying is the only thing that helps me now. You heard me, Edward. Stop praying. Bobby, that's it! That's it. Harriet. You are not frightened of me, are you, Edward? Why, I'm the one who gives you strength. I'll make you great. I know, Harriet. I've always taken care of you. I'm very fond of you, Edward. I... Couldn't get along without you. You've given me everything. But this tonight, this awful thing, Jennifer and Brad. What if the police find out? Edward. They're dead, aren't they? Edward. They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> you struck me. Stop acting like an hysterical child. Sounded like someone coming up the drive. There's a car just drove up. One of the neighbors? At 4.30 in the morning? No, Harriet. It's the police. Oh, no, no, they couldn't have found out. Tell them the truth, Harriet. Tell them everything. Listen to me, Edward. I've made plans for this. They're running away. No, no, they got you. I've the leave for you already packed in one for me, too. I've hidden them in the second floor room in the garage above the car. Harriet, I'm afraid. You get a little man. Come with me now. I, I can't, Harriet. I'm afraid. You can. You must, Edward. Let me go. No. Quick, you're coming with me. You're taking the mic here on the second floor of the garage. I'll stay here for a moment while they search the house. I, I can't go on. I can't, Harriet. Tell the police the truth. I'll tell them the truth. All right. You fool, tell them. You'll hang. I won't. I'll hang. Of course you will. But it was worth it, wasn't it? I always wanted Jennifer out of the way. I'm glad she's dead. Brad, too, had to be killed. I didn't even know he was in the house until I saw him looking out, watching you kill Jennifer. You wanted them killed. I'll hang. If Jennifer was after you for herself, she would have taken you from me. You wouldn't kill me, boy. You told me lies. Jennifer was laughing at us. You made me hate her until I killed her in a blind rage. Yes, but no one would suspect you, Edward. You're so weak and so dependent. No one would dream of the great strength that lies in those two hands of yours. Yes, my two strong hands I exercised and developed to make beautiful music. You urged me on so they bring pain and death. You made me pay for your own selfish purpose. Yes, yes. They're down below now. You've got to get out of here somehow. The window. You're not going anywhere, Harry. Edwin, why are you locking that door? We're trapped, Harry. You know it. But you don't care because you're not the murderer. They won't take you, Edward. You could beat them. Yes, they must be the chose. No, Harry. It's your neck I'm after. This no. Time. Oh, no. Yes, look at these powerful oh. hands, Harry. The hands that beat Jennifer and Brad to a pulp. I was going to let me. I'm going to show you how I killed Jennifer. Oh, no. First one blow on her face like this. Oh, no. She got up herself no. just like that. Oh, no, no, no. I smashed down with a mother. Oh, no, no. And a mother. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. Now, Harriet. No. This is how no. Jennifer felt when I... 
grab her throat and choke her. What? The one you've got no gun and the killer's in there, please. Let us take that woman. Let her through this door. No, I didn't. You said what? The one, keep away from him. He's the killer. Please, please, Lamont, stay away from me. All right, Mother Ann. Why, you're coming with me. No, you don't. Lamont, don't. I've got him. Phone the police, Margo. He's not going to give us any more trouble now. Got Edward Moran locked up? He confessed everything, Margo. So he did kill Jasper Yes. But Harriet Hamilton was the mind and force behind those murders, Margo. <laughs> she told him she could never be happy or help him with his career as long as Jennifer lived. And she persuaded him to kill Bartholomew to cover that murder? Yes. Jennifer came out early before the recital. Edward killed her in a fit of rage and left her for dead. But she managed to revive long enough to crash through those strange doors. Then Bartholomew must have followed Jennifer out and witnessed the murder. That's why he loved you in that room. But darling, why didn't he go right to the police? He's afraid of being involved in a murder that might ruin his screen career. Besides, he did get rid of Jennifer for him at a most convenient time. Oh. What about Viceroy's blue cornfall pill? Mrs. Hamilton planted those on Brad's body just as Viceroy claims he had. Well, darling, I still get loose every time I think of you facing that brutal killer. How on earth did you subdue him? I nearly didn't, Margo. I felt the terrific strength in those two hands. And then suddenly, when he looked down at Mrs. Hamilton's dead body, a strange thing happened. Strength seemed to leave. It was as if all the power Edward Nolan possessed left him. The moment he realized he'd murdered Harriet Hamilton, the one person who had made him strong. <laughs> Here's good advice for cold sufferers. When a cold is working on you and you're in for real misery, turn to Grove for quick relief. Get Grove cold tablets more widely used for cold relief than any other cold tablet in the world. They get right down inside and work internally to give you relief. Grove cold tablets are a multiple medicine, compounded like a doctor's prescription. A combination of many active medical ingredients. Work on all the usual cold miseries. Relieve headaches, help reduce fever, alleviate body aches and pains, reduce nasal stuffiness. Get Grove cold tablets. Take exactly as directed. Rest and avoid exposure. Accept only the box with the Grove signature. Look for the name G-R-O-V-E. Grove cold tablets. Channel program is based on a story copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications. Characters, names, places, and plots are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Again, next week, the shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs>